Okay, here's our Doppler question. You're standing on the side of the road when a fire truck with sirens blaring drives towards you. You have a smartphone app that tells you the frequency that you're hearing is 684 hertz. The actual frequency produced by the fire truck is 639 hertz. And we want to know, based on those numbers, how fast is the fire truck moving? And we're told that the air temperature is 21 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we will be using this equation. This is our Doppler equation. This is the frequency the observer hears, which if we look on our information, it's 684 hertz. This is the actual frequency that the object is producing, which is 639 hertz. And this is the speed of sound, which is dependent on air temperature of 21 degrees Celsius. And this is the speed of the source, which is what we are actually looking for. So I'll just write down our variables. F observer. So this is what we're hearing. 684 hertz. Frequency produced by the object, 639 hertz. We want the speed of the object, which is what we're looking for. And speed of sound. Now speed of sound is dependent on air temperature. So we will end up using this equation right here. And we've used this before, uh, 331.4 meters per second plus this is the temperature correction, 0 0.606 meters per second for every degree Celsius, and T is our temperature. So we go back and double check, our temperature was 21 degrees. So we're going to go into the equation, and we will now solve for the speed of sound. So our speed of sound is 344.126, and we're not going to do any significant digit rounding right now, so that is V sound. Okay, so now we can take this number right here and go back to our original data. So where it says speed of sound, we can now write 344.126 meters per second. So now if we look, here's our information. We've got the uh, frequency observer here. So this is the actual object's frequency. Here's our speed of sound. And the one thing that we're looking for, which is the speed of the source, is the unknown. Here's our equation. So let's plug in our information and begin to solve. So we can even write it out one more time. Okay, so here's our equation and we're just going to put in the numbers that we've got. So, uh, frequency of the observer hears, let's go back up one more time, that's 684. Velocity of sound, always double check your numbers, 344.126. 344.126, plus or minus the speed of the source. And this is all multiplied by what is the original sound frequency? 639. Okay, so now we've got all of the numbers written down. And what we're trying to do is solve for this bit right here. So, what I'm going to do is, as a first step, just divide both sides by 639, just to get rid of the number on that one side. 
So if we do that, 639 over 639, that cancels out. And on the left-hand side, 684 divided by 639 is 1.0704. And now we have 344.126. And 344.126 plus or minus the speed of the source. Okay, now here's where some people get a little bit confused. Uh, they're not sure how to solve for this bit down here. So what I'm going to do is just simply do this. I'm going to put some brackets. Okay, And I'm going to turn this into a fraction. So now this right here kind of looks like we can just do some cross multiplying. This bottom part will multiply with the top and this bottom part here is going to multiply there. So why don't we go ahead and do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is this cross multiplication right here. So 1 times 344.126 which would give me 344.126. Then we're going to do this multiplication. Move it over a bit. And I will get 1.0704 times 344.126 plus or minus speed of the source. So here's what we've got. Now I need to expand the bracket, or the other thing I can do is just divide both sides by 1.0704, and they will cancel off on the left hand side, and on the right hand side, 344.126 divided by 1.07. gives me 321.4929 and on the left hand side I still have 344.126 and I still have this plus or minus V source. Now remember when we're doing Doppler there's two different apparent frequencies when an object is approaching you and when an object is going away from you there is a definite change in frequency if you're not sure which one it is, let's just leave the plus minus in front right now. And what I want to do is subtract 344.126 from both sides. So it will get rid of it on this side. So if I subtract 344.126 from the left side, I have to do it from the right side. And it will simply look like this. Okay, so I've got 321.429 minus 344.126, giving us minus 22.633. Now this is a speed, it's not a vector, velocity. So when we're looking here, obviously we would be using the minus. So it would be minus V source equals minus 22.633, or because there's a negative on both sides, the speed of the source would simply be 22.633 meters per second. That's the answer that we get mathematically. Now we'd have to go back to our original question to see how many significant digits should we be using. So we scroll way back up here, and here's what I see. That has three significant digits. This has three significant digits, as does our temperature. So when we go down to our final answer, it really can only have three significant digits. So if we write it out properly, 
speed of the source, which is the fire truck, would be 22.6 meters per second.